Good morning, Ramona Miles here. This is my very first video ever. I'm really stepping outside my comfort zone and I'm feeling pretty amazing about it. I want my first video to be about overcoming fear. I've written some notes so you'll see me looking off trying to stay on task because I'll start talking and get lost. But um, first I'd like to redefine what fear means to me. Uh, I posted a while back uh, about being afraid to create my very first video. And after a couple of weeks or more, I realized that I wasn't afraid of creating a video. All this time I've been misunderstanding um, growth, personal growth. There's no reason at all for me to be afraid of my video recorder or camera uh, or my laptop. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> so what's really been going on here uh, is as, as soon as most of us uh, want to do something for ourselves, uh, that feeling of unworthiness shows up, resistance shows up. And if you're the type of person that has not lost your ability to take care of yourself and your own personal needs, you'll address this and move on. You've all done so by just creating your own videos uh, without a problem, with, with ease. Uh, but on the other hand, um, for others, this is where we sort of get stuck. And uh, personally, this is where I've gotten stuck over the past five or six years of being online. Um, that's why I said I'm going to redefine what fear means to me. Uh, I think it's, I've been struggling um, with is not fear itself uh, because I'm not afraid of any of these technologies. Uh, what it is is my misunderstanding of personal growth. And you see, so you see like um, as a child, you know, we're not aware of the outcome of a situation uh, that we may be in. So, uh, for example, you know, if a kid runs out in the street, they don't really know that they can get hit by a car until they're taught that. So some of our, our belief systems have been just completely wrong. So um, with that being said, uh, you know, kids are kids, you know, and over time we sort of lose that, that, that pureness and that honesty. Um, they're, they're, because they don't know and they aren't aware of, a, of the outcome of, of most situations they're in, uh, they can act and do and say what they want and it seems sort of selfish. But as we move out of our childhood, we're taught not to be selfish. We're taught that we should share and put others first. And honestly, I think this is taught in the wrong manner. I think there should be more to that. Uh, if, if that were the case, then maybe people would accomplish more. Uh, this fear wouldn't be um, as strong of an energy or a feeling or an emotion you know, that we've, we've given it. So with that being said too, <laughs> um, we, we grow up and we lose a little bit more of ourselves and who we really are. And the law of attraction is always, you know, in action. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do what it's, it's designed to do. So with personal growth, um, you're going to have to turn back to uh, yourself and say, you know, I'm important. Uh, I matter. I love myself and I personally, uh, truly am in love with me. That was so hard for me to say and do, and I still haven't said it like in a mirror. So that's something I'm really going to continue to work on. Um, but in order to do that, you're going to appear to be selfish to others, especially those who you've been saying yes to for so long. You're going to start having to say no, and they're not going to like it. Their own resistance is going to show up, and that's something that they will have to learn uh, to deal with and put in perspective for themselves. Uh, you can help, but once again, the more you help someone else try to go through that, the less you're doing for yourself, and you're really not doing them any justice, you know, in, in trying to do it for them or teach them a certain way. Everybody's journey through life is their own, and 
because we've been taught <coughs> that sharing and giving, uh, which is great, it's just there should be limits, and we're not taught those limits. And so that's why this group is really, really good. <laughs> it's, it's really helped me. But um, so uh, I'm going to wrap this up because I didn't want it to be too long. What, uh, what I'm going to continue to do is um, work on me. And kids are going to be out of school soon, so that's going to be a great challenge that I'm honestly looking forward to. You know, it's going to be it's going to be one heck of a ride, but <laughs> it'll be worth it. Uh, it's going to make me a better person and a better mom. And I, I, I really feel that if I don't do this, <clears throat> it's, it's no growth is going to happen, and I won't be really helping my children uh, at all. Uh, they're not going to learn too much from me if I don't show up. So what I'm saying is to myself is hello Ramona <laughs> uh, my name is Ramona it's nice to meet me and I look forward to knowing uh, more about me so deliberately create a day of awareness of your desires and until next time I'm Ramona and bye for now